Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. Flea Market Finds, September 2022, Part 2. Now, in the uh, previous Flea Market Finds video, uh, I, I did the comics and I said there was uh, records with it. And this is the record half. So this is the second half of that uh, collection from uh, my friend Gary. Thanks again, Gary, for uh, uh, calling me up and letting me... Uh, purchase this great collection. Hey, if you guys get a chance, click like, hit subscribe, check out our other videos. Uh, you can find us on uh, eBay and social media at Majestic Collectibles. Um, I do not know a lot about records. Uh, you know, I know what I listened to as a kid, and I've had them before because they do tend to turn up when I, uh, when I buy larger collections. Um, but I've well, I don't know what to do. So leave me your comments. If you see something good, let me know. I really haven't even started researching this. Uh, I did put a few uh, in record sleeves because like a lot of other paper collectibles, you want kind of want to keep them from rubbing. And there's a lot of rubbing and whitening on some of these. Uh, so let's get started. There's quite a few here. I think it was 230 some uh, albums, as I recall on that. Uh, mostly... Mostly 70s stuff. So if you're a 70s fan, I think I, I think I got you covered. And uh, <laughs> and I got I got to tell you the story. So I'm sitting there with Gary, and he's telling me, you know, in the good old days, how he listened to records, and he says, you know, we'd we'd drink a little something, we'd smoke a little something, and we'd put the record on and listen to it. And if that doesn't if that doesn't sum up the '60s and uh, early '70s, I don't know uh, what does. Phil Collins, which I think is one of the actually newer albums, and I'm not sure. Now this is an original owner collection too, so he uh, purchased almost all of these brand new from the record shop. If you remember when we still had record shops. Uh, so this is this is really cool that way. I got to move these off to the side. These things weigh a ton. I will just love, and that's a comic, kind of a comic. I don't know, theme cover, style cover, maybe. Just love the album artwork on uh, on a lot of these. The photography, a lot of effort, a lot of a lot of art went into this stuff. I've never heard of a lot of these groups. Wishbone Ash. And that's, uh, let's see, Caravan? That looks like a Rod Stewart album there. There's another great cover. Just love some of these psychedelic uh, covers. But again, I am not familiar, Santana, uh, I am not familiar with a lot of these groups at all. Fleetwood Mac, now that's one that I... I do get uh, pops up in a lot of collections when I see them. Grateful Dead, uh, those are usually pretty good sellers, although I've never had that album. Um, let's see, who is that? I don't even know. Great cover, though. I love the cover art. Uh, something that I thought was really interesting, and like a lot of collectibles, you know, condition, condition is key. A uh, lot of wear on the covers because they were used, you know, he was, he was playing these things. Um, here's a great album. Some of you ought to, well, a lot of you ought to recognize that uh, on there. But one of the things I wanted to show you here. Oh, here we go. Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. The record's... Oh my goodness, I have never seen a record collection of this quality. The absolute, uh, the vinyl itself, from everything I've seen, and I haven't taken them all out yet, but all the vinyl I have, I have looked at, and I've looked at quite a few, has been absolutely immaculate. Some of the best condition records, vinyl, I have ever seen. So he really took care of his stuff, and he was a, you know, he really appreciated the music. And it was a great time, uh, great time to be a music fan right there in the uh, 60s and, and 70s and early 80s. I 
Another Wishbone, Wishbone Ash album there. Here's some more, which that's got the actual Wishbone in it. So, a lot of synthesizer. Um, techno pop, I'm not sure. I'd, he called it synthesizer music, so there is a lot of synthesizer uh, music um, in here, more than I've ever seen. And there's a lot of albums uh, with this hard rock stuff. Um, I just don't see them around these parts a whole lot. It's something that that I just don't get a lot of. You know, we're more uh, more mainstream here, I guess, in Iowa, at least from what I've seen, and a lot of country western and and gospel also too. Nice Sting album, uh, Super Tramp, and of course everybody should recognize a a Journey album cover. That should be mandatory if you're an American, if, if nothing else, of those Journey album covers. So we'll do it this way. Uh, always a good seller. Uh, I don't know what pressing this is. It should be fairly early because uh, he was buying them new. Um, so I'll have to do, do some more research on these. Love that one. Nectar. Just some fantastic artwork. Now I've got, oh, Almond Brothers. I didn't even know that was in there. National Lampoon, which, you know, nothing says 70s Americana like National Lampoon anything. I can tell you that right now. Uh, these are a little, little rough. They got some wear. These were all in a basement for a while, so they do kind of have that uh, uh, musty odor to them. Um, and I got to shoot a video Love that Asia cover. Um, there's another great one. Um, I got to shoot a video and, and uh, explain to you guys how I can get that smell to go away. It's not, you know, it's not a hard process, but it, it can take some time. And I've got three boxes of these, so what I'm going to do, I'm coming to, coming to the end of the first box on this, and I'm going to go and pause this and move some stuff around because these are very, very heavy and bulky. So it's just going to make it a little bit easier to do it. Ah, Huey Lewis. I'm old enough to remember they came out. So that <laughs> I, I wasn't quite old enough to, um, uh, well, I probably could have bought it at the store at the time, I guess. But I wasn't quite old enough to care about actually buying records yet. Peter Gabriel. Great cover, The Doors. Uh, greatest Hits albums do sell, but they're usually not worth a whole lot. Um, but it's good for listeners, you know, or folks starting out. They're usually cheaper than the, uh, the original album. And I don't think there's too many best of albums in this. We'll find out together, because I looked through these, but it was just so much. Good Dire Straits album there. Another Doors album. There was just so much stuff there. There's no way I could remember it all. Another Jan Hammer, like the knight on the horse. That's another cover too. Uh, Electric Rendezvous. So again, I don't know, not really synthesizer, but kind of that electronic uh, theme. Okay, so there is the last of the first box. I'm going to pause it here, and then we'll get some more out. Okay, here's box number two of the albums, and as you can see, I've got. Uh, Got some of these in sleeves here. So I got started on it. I just have not had a had a chance to uh, finish it up. The one thing, boy, you come back from these uh, these flea markets, you are just really, really worn out. So I'm afraid at my uh, my age, I have been. Uh, there's a weird cover. I have been uh, taking a lot longer to recover. This, I love this. The Robert Crumb cover that's uh, Janis Joplin. I think it was, I don't know, it was dated 68 or 69. I don't know if that's a first pressing or an early pressing or not. I have to research that. But I do love it. Jefferson Starship. Love that one. Let's see here. 
Super Tramp, Neil Young. I'm not even sure who that is. Who is that? See, it shows you how old I am. You know, a real, a real music person would recognize these things immediately. Do have a number of Rod Stewart albums. And Uriah Heep. Got a lot of those. Good old weather report. And you know, I gotta tell you, I never heard of them before uh, last Sunday anyway. Uh, Tom Preddy. Uh, always pretty good stuff with him. Missing Persons. Another Super Tramp. Oh, it's like that uh, end of the world beach cover. Super Tramp again. Some more Super Tramp. Another Uriah Heap. Beach Boys in Concert. I think that was one of the few mainstream uh, albums I got was that one. George Carlin, which a lot of people don't think of those guys uh, making records, I guess, but. Uh, and anybody from Bill Cosby to William Shatner seemed to have a record with something to say. Frank Zappa, a little wear um, on that cover around the edges, but they usually sell pretty well when I get them. I do not get a lot of Frank Zappa stuff at all. If you're a fan of mice, I got them covered for you. I always like that Shadow Facts uh, art on that one. I always thought that was a good cover there. I'm running out of room here to put some of these. There we go. Uh, here's some of the synthesizer stuff. I think it's uh, mainly European from what I was told. Trans Electronic Music Productions, Inc. Virtuoso. Virtuoso. I pronounced that badly. Electronic Performances of Bach. Monteverde, Scarlatti, and Handel. So, yep, some interesting stuff. I've never heard of Jean-Luc Ponty. Maybe I'll throw an album on. Then again, maybe I won't. So, a lot of these I gotta do a lot of research on. Uh, the Who. Uh, that one, it's not an original press, and I think it's later, but I'm not sure. Uh, the Monster Mash covers usually sell. I might keep that one because I'm a sci-fi horror guy. I really like that one. Rhino Brothers, Circus Royale. Again, just some, some really, really wild uh, album covers on these things. Dr. Demento. Boy, you'd have to think that'd be worth a little something just for uh, collectors. Another Dr. Demento with the photo cover on it. I like that. Weird Al. I would think that would have to have some value. Back to Weather Report. like that art on there. Rick Wakeman. The Tomita Planets? Don't know. like the like the art on it. Tomita Firebird. Tomita... Pictures and an exhibition. Never heard of any of these things. So this is this is all new to me again. Like I said, if you guys see something that's uh, <laughs> really ultra rare, let me know because I would have no idea. Well, unless somebody sees this thing and they start uh, making silly offers. Hey, that's a really album. You know, I need it from my collection. You know, I'm in my in my death bag. Can you sell it to me cheap? That usually sets off my alarm bells when I get. Uh, get those uh, messages. Snowflakes are dancing, another Tomita album. Christine McVie, have at least heard of her. So let's see, uh, probably two more batches in this box. And I still got the third box. Green Slate, I love that art. Lots of, lots of period art and covers and themes and designs on these. Do not know, and it's uh, 
Fleetwood, well, it's not Fleetwood Mac. It just uh, must be a solo album. Bob Welch, that's a record I actually turns up fairly often. I do see that. Have had a number of those. Another Fleetwood Mac. Another Fleetwood Mac. Cool cover on that one. And the last batch of the second box here. I think, I hope. There we go. Yep, I got them all in. Fleetwood Mac again. Another Fleetwood Mac. Blue Jays. Can't say I've heard of them either. Nectar, which there were a few of these in the collection. That was kind of neat. A little picture disc, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Um, Kid Stuff album. And a Mickey Christmas Carol. I don't know, that might have to stay in the family. We, we usually watch that every year on um, DVD. Well, maybe it's VHS. DVD, something we watch it on. So might keep the soundtrack. A lot of Strawberry Shortcake collectors. So that should be good. One of my favorite movies, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly soundtrack. Not sure on that one. Oh, Fleetwood Mac. They play on. And there's back to the bare tree. So I'm going to stop this. We'll get on to box number three next. Okay, here we go. We got box number three of the records. Uh, this is actually a day after I filmed the first two, so if you if you hear some background noise, it's raining really, really super hard here right now, so that's what that is. So let's get through this final box here, show you guys what's left. Got a nice Fleetwood Mac album. Couldn't get this one in a sleeve. It's a double album, so it's a little thick. I'll have to figure something else out there, I guess. And again, just some really cool albums here more uh more uriah heap more moody blues kind of a cool looking cover there crosby stills nash and young all in all it's finally something i recognize from my youth right there i don't think i have the h2o album but let's find out Crosby, Stills, and Nash. More Moody Blues. Uh, I'm not even sure what that one is. Layla. There we go. Another Moody Blues album. Got some really psychedelic covers here. Elements. I I think that might be another synthesizer album, but I'm not, not really sure on that. He must have been something of a Rod Stewart fan, because I do have a number of Rod Stewart albums. So let's see. Here's another, <laughs> here's another cool album cover. Gosh, I like that one. King Crimson, that's another one. I think I've got uh, a few of these. Yeah, here we go. Got a couple here. Bruford. I hope I pronounced that right. I apologize if I didn't. Because that's, uh, that's another one I am not at all familiar with as far as an artist goes. Uh, more King Crimson coming up here. So here we go. We got <laughs> most of the colors. Very, uh, very cartoonish, those three albums, if you get that. Sorry, bad joke. Uh, oh, another King Crimson. Manfred Mann. Another Manfred Mann. Uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra with John McLaughlin, The Inner Mounting Flame. Yep, that's definitely a period piece. No, no idea what to make of Babe Ruth there. Gotta tell you, not at all uh, familiar with that one. So like I said before, if you guys uh, you guys see anything that's worth something, let me know. I'm going to sit down when this, uh, when this box is done. I'm going to take one of these boxes in and just, uh, just start looking through eBay and on, uh, on the internet. Trying to, uh, trying to figure out what's going on here with some of these things.
Roaring Silence. That's a great album name, actually. I like that. And another run of Man for Man there. McKendridge. Oops, I can get it out. Oh, it's kind of sticking. Well, maybe that's a double. Oh, nope, it's not. It's just stuck. I think the humidity in the air, it's been so dry for so long, and now we're getting this rain, it's kind of sticking stuff together. Uh, yeah, McKendry Spring. Keith Emerson. And that must be, is that another? Oh, that's a double album. That's why it was so heavy on that one. Whoops. My gosh, these are really sticking. Greg Lake. I've never heard of the Nice. It's been on quite a few albums. Albums. Another crazy cover on there. Here's a cool cover. I really like that. I thought for just a second it was maybe a Frank Frazetta cover. It's not, but it's definitely, definitely along those lines. Here's an early, I think early, Genesis album. Kind of another cool cover, pink and gray. I think the general theme on a lot of these seems to be maybe uh, guitar rock. I'm, I'm guessing that was kind of a, here's another Bob Dylan, kind of the theme, which that was, you know, that was an up and coming deal, late 60s through the early 80s. Lots of guitar rock. The glam bands. Oh, that one's sideways. Another, another Who record album. Oh, there's another one. Here's another cool one. I'm going to have to look into this. Music inspired by the Lord of the Rings. Don't know what that means at all. I'm guessing maybe more synthesizer, orchestral stuff. No idea. Cool uh, picture of the One Ring. Ramatan. I, UK Danger Money, again, you're out of my, way out of my element of expertise on anything here. Well, I'm not even sure that one's, that one's not even named, so somebody there is probably going to recognize it and be shouting at the screen, sorry about that. And we're almost done here, Jade Warrior, like the cover. Here's another cool cover, Captain Beyond. Got the psychedelic airbrush thing going. Another Captain Beyond with a great pick. Here's another Babe Ruth. Definitely not, uh, not the same type of cover theme. Jethro Tall and the last one in here, Uriah Heap Live. So there we go. Thanks for sticking with me for all these uh, record albums. Leave me your comments and questions. Uh, check out our other videos, guys. Thanks for watching.